morning all of you um yes we're doing a shoe video today now anyway 99 percent of the time i'm wearing these things i'm going to show you my new ones G'day world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Today we are talking fallies. Hold on a second. Okay, we are going to talk about these ones from Strauss and Co. Leather. Okay, but to show you that I know what I'm talking about, we're going to start with this. These well, or pairs like these have been my daily shoes for work, for church, for anything that you need to wear shoes to for years. And when I say years, I mean maybe the last 15 years, I've been wearing this same brand, same looking valley the whole time. Okay, what makes a valley nice, they are broad. So my broad little feet likes to live in them. Now this is Terra. And these guys you get from uh, the corporation Ubaru um, here by me. So I buy them there. Relatively inexpensive. The things last forever. Um, yeah, look at the soles. They've been molded to me. And same with the shoes. Anyway, so I've been wearing fellies like this forever. Now, I'm always afraid I'm not going to get again. So I have this, a backup pair. These ones are brand new. But they are just in case these ones fail me one day. And they will most likely not. Okay, like I said, every five or six years, I buy myself a new pair. And then they're fine again. Look at these ones. They don't even have the inners anymore. It's like I'm walking on the upside or the whatever of that. Okay, and then I ordered a pair from Strauss & Co. Leather. And I got these guys. Handmade. We have the little Strauss and Co. logo at the back. Look at that. Look at the stitching. And these things are grippy. Okay, so this is fantastic. If you're ever in the market for awesome valleys, go to Strauss and Co. Leather and get these. Okay, now I love these things. Um, but let me show you the box quickly. Actually, no. My name is on it everywhere. But let just it comes in a box like this. And then inside the box. Okay, inside the box, you get, get a lot of extra awesomeness. We get this wonderful thing, um, which says, It is better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. Which is so true. Then at the back, we have... The maker's signature, and we have when he, we have the date when he made these things. Thank you for choosing Strauss and Co. Okay, I got something extra in here, and I cut it open at the back because I did not want to spoil my wonderful little thing of a G, my Strauss and Co. thing. Okay, it is nestled on a bed of soft straw, and then it came with these laces, which are these fantastic leather um, thongs. Okay, so. If you want to use that, you can use that for your laces. Look at that. I must say, um, I'm going to put a link at the bottom of this video to a video um, from Johan where he shows how he packages these things. Let me just put one shoe on here so you can look at it while I'm rambling on. Anyway, so he shows you how he packages these things. When you buy things from Strauss & Co, it's not just the awesome things that you get from them it's also the way they package it the way they put the things together all of those wonderful things that makes this super awesome okay um the history on the valley okay these things have been made in south africa forever um i have seen previous videos where somebody i think it was an american guy and he was calling these things african hunting boots um, now you don't just have to go hunting with them, you can wear them for anything. And I think I wear this stuff to everything. Okay, fancy stuff, home stuff, church stuff, whatever stuff. Wherever I have to go, I wear this. It's only when I wear a suit, because my suit's darker, so I don't wear my fellies. But for everything else, fellies are fantastic. Okay, um, 
I'm going to call that. All of you, stay safe, happy, have a good one. Goodbye. Okay, I just lit my fire lighter. Now I'm going to chuck on some charcoal because it's bright time. We're rocking Ignite and we have the big lid rectal. So let's get some of this stuff on the fire. I love this knife. Stacking charcoal is like such a metaphor for life. Because you try to pack them and the more you stack them, the more they roll downhill. Just trying to get to the top. Okay, so it's stacked. I've seen these things before. Fire is pretty much ready to start, but what I want to show you is this thing. Okay, um, we need to make a handle for this, so that will be an upcoming video. I found a very light piece of driftwood. I'm going to use that to make that. Anyway, um, these things. Cast iron, um, same as those casseroles. Um, cast iron things that I got from my father. It was his mother's. Okay, so these things have been in continuous use for at least 60 to 70 years. Okay, um, the way I heard the story, these things were made at... I'm going to say Pretoria City Works or something like that. That's where they made these things. And then um, they maybe had a chip or something on them because they were sold as rejects. And that's how my grandmother bought these things. Anyway, so we're going to use this thing to make mushrooms today. So in here, I have my mushrooms. But I added the extra dollop of mayonnaise on this one. Ah, now am I going to do this? Anyway, I must take that off to grease the pan. Let's just start doing it like that. Okay, that looks perfect. Okay, so we have this. Oh, sorry, you can't see. Okay, so there we go. Um, now I'm going to chuck all of these in there and then I'll show you when we add the rest of the stuff. Yes, it's margarine and it's awesome. So they all fit in there. I'm going to put on the lid and have them sweat for a little bit before I add the rest of the deliciousness. Okay, so... We can hear that they are talking nicely, so let's add a bit of salt. I'm going to say not too much, but you can add quite a lot of salt. Okay, now, I just need to spin them around so they don't stick. Mm. That looks delicious. Okay, turn my pan a bit so I don't just toast one side. Magical! And now we added a few T-bones. So that's going to be delicious. Okay, these guys look awesome. We're not doing any weird, um, what do you call it, sauces or things today. It's just steak and chops, but they're done. They're not very thick. Okay, so these things are looking pretty awesome. Now, what I'm going to do is just chuck out everything that's in there. Okay, so we are also making a nice sauce that we can pour over whatever we want to. And then, we are going to add some cheese, but my cheese is quite melty because... It was outside the whole day and it's extremely hot here where I am. We're hoping for a bit of rain. So yes. And last time I said we're not going to add too much cheese because we are not savages. But today we are adding as much as we want. Nice oily cheese. It's good for your heart. And it's also making a nice sauce. Oops, sorry. Okay, that's done. Now let's eat. Okay, delicious. I'm eating. All of you stay safe, happy, have a good one. Goodbye.